Hello my friends, today in this video, I'm going to show you, some incredible electronics projects, that will be helpful for every home, beginners and students. Circuit diagram for every projects is given in video. So, watch till the end without skipping.
This video is sponsored by the Altium, the ultimate collaboration platform for secure electronics development. Let's take a look what is possible, collaborate seamless with your team, view, edit and discuss projects in real time, ensuring everyone is on the same page, at the same time, no matter where they are. Also, Altium introduces you with the Altium Students Lab. Get free access to Altium Designer with Students License and PCB Design Courses. Enjoy seamless collaboration with Altium 365, get access to industry-leading software, learn the foundation of PCB design with course certificate, get career opportunities through internships and scholarships, also get hands-on experience to skill development. So, enroll today for free, and accelerate your career in electronics design. Now our circuit is ready, and it's time for the testing. I will use multimeter to track the input voltage. Connect the variable DC input for calibration. While charging, a 12 volt battery is usually considered fully charged at 13.8 volts, so let's increase the voltage and set voltage to 13.8 volts. Now use screwdriver and adjust potentiometer clockwise till LED turns on. Then slowly adjust anti-clockwise till LED turns off. Now if we decrease the voltage slightly, LED will turn on and will indicate battery is charging. And if the voltage is increased to the 13.8 volts, LED will turn off, indicates charging is completed. You can use this for different voltage batteries like, for 6 volt battery. While charging, 6 volt battery is fully charged on reaching to 7 volts. So we have set it, now let's do calibration as before. You can see, slight decrease in voltage will turn on LED, indicates battery is charging. And on reaching back to 7 volts, LED turns off, indicates battery charging is completed. Even the circuit can be used for 24 volts batteries too. Set full charged voltage, then do calibration using potentiometer. And the circuit is ready to indicate battery status, and will protect your battery to get overcharged.
If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. For more useful videos subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.